Hello everyone. Welcome to Shadow of Judgment. Oh. Uh, your host S. You call me Sly. You call me Faith. You call me whatever really you want to. I, I honestly don't care. I, I probably won't even answer to my actual name because it's like I, I, I like I'm. Not, I don't pay attention to this shit. But anyway, we're here for y'all. What is Shadow of Judgment for anybody who's new to this channel? This is where I go through the week. This week is, um, what is it? The 9th to the 16th? What the fuck is the date today? I should actually check that. Yes, the 9th to the 16th. So today until next Friday. That's the span of this, right? We're looking at the nooks, the crannies, the shadow side. What's in the circle and in all four corners to find out boop your nose what's going on in the background what's going on in the distance what's going on in the subconscious things you don't know about things you might actually be scheming you know shit like that this is just for the week though i do this every week so you can come by anytime fire signs we already did you back up <laughs> don't be the earth signs or was that the earth signs or is that water i can't remember or was, no that was it god fire signs you calm down. God! Like, really? Huh. That's three times fire. I can't tell if my cards want me to redo yours. Because I was kind of stupid in yours. And distracted. Okay, there we go. Earth signs, nine of pentacles. This happened last week, too. It was like three different cards. But I can't remember if it was water or air. It was one of the two who did that. Like, they kept popping up right before Earth came up. Because Earth was second last time, I think. Or I could be wrong. One of the two. I haven't figured it out yet. Taurus, you're up first. So we're going to see what your shadow is for this week, right? Right. Um, well, first off, no one's actually talking to each other enough to cooperate, so nothing's getting done. Um, nothing's worked, so you had to, like, bully somebody away. <laughs> Did you fucking do the bull in the china shop shit where you just started just bulldozing over everybody's stuff? This is air. Um, <clears throat> what the fuck does that mean? Hmm. Okay, so like, usually with this card, it's like you won the battle, but you lost the war, right? Because, yeah, you manipulated a person to walk away. The problem is that that person realized that they have way more self-worth than to sit there and let you talk shit to them. Or this is you dealing with the person who did this to you. Right. And there you are, sitting pretty on your throne, like, fuck it. What are you doing, kitten? What are you trying to knock off of my fucking table now? You heathen. Don't you act cute with me. Don't you dare act cute with me. Are you acting cute with me? Yes, you are. Mm. Look at you. You're the most beautiful little kitten in the entire world. Yes, you are. Yes, you don't even know that. No. What you are, yes. Oh. I'm sorry, it's my girl, man. She's my best friend, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're a good girl. Here, bless these cards. Just rub your face on them. Yeah, just like that. There we go. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm still doing these. I still got a couple to go. It's not working because there's a lot of petty bitches fighting. The person who did, like, the fucky stuff is kind of like, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that because, like, I'm kind of broke. I kind of needed that person to stick around. You, I feel, I, I definitely feel like this is you. And you're dealing with somebody who's kind of like, I don't know. It's like they put their own foot. It's kind of like dealing with an Aquarius. It's like they always make friends with people who they know are just going to like decide, you know what? I don't have to put up with your shit, Aquarius. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you like your name's Eck. All those petty fights led to some truth coming out. And now this person is insecure. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh, you caught somebody, didn't you? You caught somebody up. Yeah, because you realize this person was kind of like an enemy in your house. Kitten, I'm trying to do cards. I know, man, I know. She wants to get in my lap, but I'm shuffling, so she has to wait till I'm done. Don't you? Yeah, you do. You're getting impatient. There we go. Okay. Saurus! Come on. Come on. So let's see what you got, man. Okay. Things didn't work. Nobody was cooperating. Nobody was communicating. Nobody was actually trying to lay a foundation down with everybody's work. I feel like it's one person, dude on the tabletop right here, being like, look, I'm the one making it, so I'm in charge. And then everybody argued. It was just like, um, you're not the only one who's doing the shit. Well, I'm putting all the work in. I'm the one with the chisel and shit. Yeah, but we're the ones with their direction, so you kind of have to listen to us. <laughs> no, I don't. And then, like, it just led to a bunch of petty fighting. But with that pi- Jesus Christ. With all of that fighting, it kind of showed you what kind of person you were dealing with, because I think this is an enemy in the house. Like, you're comfortable by yourself? Like, the King of Pentacles got the Tenth Pentacle. This person had the Ninth Pentacle, but they fucked it up. Okay, you need to come over here. In my lap, and just- Okay, well, stop distracting me with your cuteness then, kits. It's rude. Anyway, so, this is an enemy in the house. Somebody that knocked over your cups made you s sad, but they gave you these two other cups. You're just really focused on this right now because it's like you've taken the time to look over shit and realize, man, this person was really against me this entire time. Thank goodness. You know, I kind of drove them away or something, or they drove you away. One of the two, right? Because, like, after all of those games and shit, like, this person now feels like they don't have enough to be comfortable or live comfortably the way they used to. And now they're becoming insecure because there's no communication between the two of you because you figured out who the fuck they are. It's like it took you a minute to figure out while your back was turned to them that they were coming in in the first place just to fuck with you. Uh, five of cups or the ace of swords. Ace of swords, because the truth is better than, like, worrying about what the fuck made you upset in the first place. You Like, you'll obsess over, like, the one thing I've learned is you'll obsess over what the bad shit that happens to you more than you will realizing that, like, this shit was set up to happen to begin with and you were just giving people the benefit of a doubt. Like, that's why I don't trust nice people. You know, nice people are fucking terrified because you really don't know what kind of person they actually are when no one's looking. You decided to give up with this truth and cut this shit out. You're just being decisive. You are cutting out booty car. You feel like this person's a booty call at this point. Like they're just there for booty. And that makes you sad. And it might make you feel like business is closed, the lack of closure and all this. There's a ten of pentacles. You have your one, but you're good because you can always produce more, um, Taurus. That's just your speciality. This person is not used to making their own, I feel like. Or at least they're very dependent on you, but they didn't realize that pushing you away would cause them to become even more dependent and even more insecure than they were before clutching shit to their chest like they're afraid to let go of it which is a terrible thing to do you know if you if you if you penny pinch to a point you're actually going to cost yourself more money than you will save you know you got to spend wisely and save wisely but that was yours Taurus. now it is virgo's shadow today virgo my loves what does your shadow have for you Thank you, phone. Appreciate it. Oh, that's the weather. Never mind. All right, Virgo, what's your shadow supposed to be? Page of Swords reverse. Someone's snooping for the wrong reasons. Flying monkeys, spy work. Oh God, who are you dealing with? Like this person that is is just in control. Like I am the one in control. This is my. I I'm the captain now. But they're looking away from this person who's spying on them. They're not noticing somebody's watching them. 
for all the wrong intentions, like gathering up information to use against them kind of thing. Like total paranoia. How interesting. Let's see. Ah! Oh, cool. And needing to make a choice on what to do or where to go. Someone was flying for you, Virgo. This person's not offering their cup. This person's a little bit crazy. And there needs to be a choice about how to start something new. Virgo, this is weird, because there's not a single... F You've been dealing with water for a long fucking time. I can't tell if you're suspicious of a water sign, or if a water sign is just fucking with you to the point where it, they're trying to make you paranoid to make you think you're crazy, but you don't go for it because you guys are emotionless bastards, and nothing really phases you. Like, you know, my mother's a Virgo. She has mental breakdowns all the time, but she's never once shown emotion during any of those. <laughs> like, you know, like my mom's crazy. That's where I get it from. But it's like, Virgo, you aren't in here. There's the Empress Reverse. Here's a lack of communication. Someone's waiting, like, really? Okay, you are... All right, I think I said in your reading that I did for you for mid-August to September, you're trying to play matchmaker or some shit, or the person who negotiates, I think I said. Hmm. I don't, I, I don't like this. I don't, I'll tell you right now, I don't like it, because like, the only pinnacles that's come up is the Ten of Pentacles. Like, it's your home. I don't like that, dude. Like, we got the Page of Swords, Who's stupid for all the wrong reasons, trying to take their cup and, and, and fucking leave, just being like, you know what, I, I don't need this shit. I don't need this shit. And then, like, they're bitter about it. But the thing is, is, like, there's somebody wasting time acting like a martyr in this shit, right? We have the two of pentacles here. Someone needs to weigh their options and choices in order to begin something, and they're waiting. Like, between this person who's being a martyr and this home setting, like, people, places, things, but there's this emperor over here. He's reversed, too. It's, like, almost the counterpart thing, masculine, feminine. Like, the feminine's just leaving, and she's being the martyr, even though she doesn't have to be. Whereas the emperor over here is, like, look at his feelings holding them in, but he's not saying anything because he still wants to control this home. You know, he's over here, but here he's lounging in his house with his fucking dogs, his wife and son-in-law are there the kids there the kid won't stop screaming about ice cream and shit and it's like motherfucker ice cream hasn't even been invented yet why are you asking for shit that doesn't exist yet because these are really old cards and you know which reminds me how the fuck did they have ice back hundreds of years ago did they import that shit how do they keep it from melting You know, like, I, like I, I've always wondered. I should look that up, actually, and not be a lazy bastard. Mm. So, Virgo. Why is this person being the hangman reverse? Why aren't they releasing or letting go? Strength, they're trying to tame their beast. Possibly go for a new cycle. Because the burden's too much to bear. They're done with the arguments and they think that this is the right thing to do. Virgo, I think you're trying to, um... Yeah, it, it like that, it, like the fucking reading I did for you. The person, I think, over here is the one who fights like a bitch, right? And they're coming to you to be the matchmaker for the person over here they're dealing with. And you're still dealing with this throughout the week. You've been coming up with the water in your fucking shit for a while, man. I don't know who you're dealing with, but it's like you're trying to mediate something. But this person over here feels like what they're doing is right. They got the justice card, and they think it's good karma. I don't know if it's going to work for them or not, but that's what they're going for right now. Whereas this person over here, like, they're not going to communicate anything. They're holding their feelings in, turning their eyes away so they don't have to face all of this shit. They're probably ignoring you trying your best to make things work because it's just kind of like, you know, 
I don't know. I get the feeling, especially with the Queen of Cups right there, that, like, they bitch and whine about everything. Probably about what this person over here does all the time, which is probably why this person wants to leave. It's just like... Ugh. Well, I don't even know if they want to leave. I think they just... Yo, yeah, they do. They want to take their cup and go somewhere else. But it's like, I don't know. Like, this one over here just bothers me a little bit, Virgo. But that's your shadow this week. I need to stop pulling my board. But it's hot because it's late and my cards catch on the edge because I still need to shave them down. I just don't have time. Thinking of time, Capricorns. Your shadow is here. Okay, I'll stop now. I'm sorry, I just like to be annoying to my own kind. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, Capricorns, let's see what's going on for you this week. Ooh. We got the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. You are probably not offering shit to her. Or you're cutting out making an offer somewhere. Something like that. Ooh. Tower reverse. Here you are. And there's the hanged man. Reverse once again. Let's see, we got strength. The lovers. Aw, Capricorns. Commitment. The world reverse. Well, no, that's not reverse, my bad. Nine of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and the Wheel of Fucking Fortune. Goddamn, Caps. Like, what? What are y'all doing? What are y'all you, you up to? I wonder. When you're, like, I'm not like the rest of y'all Capricorns, but you know, nobody's really the same like anybody else, right? Like, we're all individuals, right? But it's like, what are y'all up to? You? Little sneaksters? Always sneaking around with your sneaky ways, like the sneakiness of Sneakers Town? You're cutting something out when it comes to this tower reverse. Taking your pentacle and hiding in the woods. Hold up. Wait. Okay, I'm trying to look over this Capricorn, and I'm not sure if I'm seeing what I'm supposed to be seeing, or if I'm not supposed to be looking at this, because honestly, it could be either or. Because I'm not getting... Okay, I'm just confused with all of this. I don't know. I, I really think I'm not supposed to actually see this spread right here because it's like over here someone isn't giving something it's stalled it's halted because they want to look like a martyr uh, this is the higher event Taurus's card right it's like this person is looked at as if they are a spiritual or religious figure but there are things that people don't know because his fingers are up. Because it's just like, there's things you still don't know about this motherfucker. This is like commitment, unity, community, um, college, religion, church, um, uh, county fucking picnics. I don't know. But this is like the head person here. And it's like they drive other ones away. But they're only doing that by keeping a martyr and not offering something. This one's confusing me, Capricorns. It really is. Like, like there's the tower not happening. Somebody's holding on to their strength for, a, 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 like, a new cycle to start. And they get their wish. And this person over here does drive this somebody away. But that causes the wheel to turn. So it's like... I'm generally confused about all of this. Because I'm not sure. Especially this right here. It's like the Queen of Swords cuts out a Queen of Pentacles. Which leads to the lovers, and then, like, the nine of cups leads to, like, the wheel of fortunes. Like, a wish is fulfilled in the background. Like, there's an enemy in someone's house, or someone didn't feel a victory here. When it came to an emperor person, possibly an Aries? 
it was overburdened. And someone felt like they just can't get over this shit. So they're looking over everything, ready to take passionate action. Um, but keeping things to themselves. Offering very fucking little, just the bare minimum to be like, Hi, how are you? Because they're keeping their insecurities in check in order to figure out what to do. They might be insecure about what to offer, too. Like, they need to make a choice between being insecure and uh, probably a nettled cancer. Because it's like, Jesus. Okay, Capricorn, yours is like actually really hard to read for me, and I don't know why. I really think I'm not like I'm not supposed to know this. But it's like It's almost like someone thinks that they bested you. And they did. They got you to walk away or whatever, right? But there's a wish fulfillment in this. That has the wheel turning for you. And whatever the wheel's turning for this other person. Does not look good. It's like... It's like whatever they did to drive you away is now being enacted back on them. It's like they were the enemy and then they got their rule and they're just like, I'm still petty. And then they look over here at this burden. Then they look at the shit that can't be fixed. Then they notice you're being like, keeping stuff to yourself and you're still taking action. But you're offering the bare minimum. Because you already know that your insecurities are fucking triggers, right? And you need to make a decision on whether you're gonna like, deal with this shit? Or whatever, but it seems like these two cards in particular are different. Like, you're dealing with somebody completely erratic who would rather have you drag them around and take care of them instead of realizing that you both are kind of in a fucked situation. Like, they'll follow you around with their problems. And you just keep trying to walk to get away from them. It's just like, I'm gonna keep following you forever! You're here for me! Ugh. That's fucking gross. Anyway... That is your reading, Capricorns, and I am done. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure. I'll be more than glad to accept it, of course. I love you guys' faces, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.